Hello everybody, this is Lauren of Plan Mosh Plan. Welcome back to another memory plan with me. This week I'm memory planning the week of Christmas. So um, if you just watched my last video on my channel, the plan ahead video, it's for the same week. So that was the plan ahead. This is the memory plan. Normally when I do that, I end up separating the videos and I don't upload the plan ahead for like a month because it's <laughs> like hard to edit but um I don't know I was able to get them both up at the same time this time so that's exciting um okay this is the kit I'm using it's the tis the season kit from two little bees I love this kit so much I knew when I was buying Christmas kits that this was going to be the kit that I used for Christmas week because it's one of my favorites if not my favorite one for Christmas and it just has the more like traditional colors um, in that there's like the green and the red. There's also the pink and kind of the sagey green, but it feels super Christmassy. It feels traditional to me and I just, I love it. I think it's like, you guys know, I love Maria's kits, the art, the design, just like her style is so beautiful to me. So um, I do have a coupon. No, sorry. I don't have a coupon code with Maria, but I do have a freebie for her shop. I actually had one. She released one for me that matched this kit because she knew I was going to use it. Um, but I don't, I didn't get it. So I don't know if she's going to send me one, but I didn't get it before using it. So bummer for me, but hopefully if you have this kit, um, you got one because it was so cute, such a cute freebie. Um, so yeah, all of my information for all the different shops that I, um, have coupon codes for and freebies, you can find that all down below. I do have them for most of the shops that I use. I would say 90% of the shops that I use. So you can find all that info down below as well as links to all of those shops. Um, and then another piece of like PSA at the beginning of the video too is just a friendly reminder if you're watching this video um, it should be in HD it's filmed in HD so um, if it looks a little fuzzy to you depending on where um, like what kind of browser or app you're watching it on on YouTube um, or you know mobile blah, 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 all that stuff you can click on either there should be like three dots maybe in the upper right hand corner or a little cog like settings wheel click on those and um, click quality and then go to advanced and make sure that you're watching it in 1080p. Um, so that way it is crystal clear for you um, because yeah, it's filled in a filmed in HD. Most of the other plan with me's that I watch from myself and my friends are filmed in HD. So, um, always double check. Sometimes if you get like low, uh, your Wi-Fi signal isn't great, it'll reset to a, like a lower uh, quality. So that's always good to know if you feel like it's not looking super sharp. Um, all right, back to the, um, back to the spread. Um, I, <laughs> I did a lot in this spread and I'm not going to lie. It took me a little bit to find my flow with this kit. Um, I've talked about this before and I've heard other planners talk about this before too, but sometimes I, I feel a pressure when I have a kit that I love so much and a, a week that's really important. Um, and I want to do the kit justice and I want to have the fun week be planned well. Sometimes I, feel pressure and I end up like not using the kit to the fullest, um, you know, its fullest capacity with such a beautiful kit. And I ended up really liking this spread, but yeah, it took me kind of a, a while to get into the flow with it, I feel. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I, it turned out well though. It, it really did. I like the state cover section. I actually feel like I did pretty well up here. I knew whenever I was buying Christmas um, like foil deco stickers that I wanted to do a spread where I put that washi overlay the lights I have a couple of those that one's from Sadie stickers the one that I used in the actual washi is from the pretty pink co but I knew I wanted to do a spread where I had one up top at the top of the spread because it felt like you know Christmas lights would be on a roof um, so I did that here and I thought that looked really cute I also was using the date covers um, for or these kind of date covers for the first time Maria made a some of her kits are right now have the date covers that are like smaller and they're more like paint swatches instead of cut out rectangles, um, which I really like the design of. So that was fun. And then I just layered a bunch of florals and some other deco. Most of the Christmas deco that I have is from uh, Sadie stickers, the pretty pink co or paper trail plans. 
I think that's it for the most part. Um, so I, again, I used all of that up here. A lot of the hanging stuff you're seeing is from the Pretty Pink Co. All the cluster deco is from Sadie Stickers. Uh, yeah, the lights are from Sadie Stickers, but those are some of my go-to shops for like really seasonal kind of foil deco. They all offer it on um, transparent matte as well, which is a big thing for me now. So um, yeah. Um, I liked how those date covers turned out. I felt like it was a little something different. It was definitely a lot, but it was pretty cute. And then I'm speeding through <laughs> right here through what I did in that upper left hand corner for the month because I didn't love how that turned out. I feel like I had an idea and I did it, but I don't know. I think it's a good idea, but I don't know how well I executed it. Um, that hanging, that giant hanging ornament, you can kind of see in the background as I'm doing the this week section. The giant one, the white one, is from Crafts by Towie. I got that on a sampler. And then that pink circle um, that I layered over top of it was from the kit. And I don't normally, like Maria started including some of those more journaling shapes in her kits and I haven't really been utilizing them. Um, it's also definitely a trend right now, I think in the planner community to like layer shapes on top of shapes and kind of offset them. And I haven't really done that. I don't think it's really my style so much, but um, I wanted to give it a try because I did have those two stickers and I felt like they go on top of each other. The way that I do it more is if I have two of the exact same shape and I can like use a sticker to white out the inside of a different sticker. That's more feels like me, but I wanted to give that a try up there. And I don't think it turned out badly per se. I just, I don't know. I hung all the other ornaments and it was very busy. It kind of felt like a lot. So <laughs> I don't know. You tell me what you think if you like it or not up there. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, I, the rest of the sidebar though, I think turned out pretty cute. I liked that she included that this week sticker and I just did a lot of kind of foily Christmas deco and, um, yeah, a lot of florals and all that. I love the gingham, um, that I, there's a couple different habit trackers. I loved the gingham one. Um, yeah. Okay. So moving on into the day by day, I was marking my friend's birthday here. I used one of the new kind of style of quarter box that she has added to her functional add-on sheet. Um, and then I took some balloons from White Deer Stationery and I'm adding all of these little gingerbread men and snowflakes and Christmas trees from Sadie stickers. I don't love how that turned out. I'm not going to lie. I wish I wouldn't have done that. I wish I would have just stuck with the My Spoiled Planner bow, but oh well. Um, I think this style of the balloons and that quarter box would have been really cute together if I hadn't kind of done a little bit too much in there. Um, I also marked that I had one meeting this day. I used one of the little fancy boxes from her kit. I love that they're whited out and there's color, a colored border and they're kind of small. I like to mark my meetings in a way that's smaller than some of the other more fun things that I do. Um, although I did mark them different like each day in this spread just because I only had meetings on Monday and Tuesday because it was Christmas week. Um, okay, moving down, I marked that I sorted out gifts this day. I just had to sit down and figure out what, the, I'm sure everyone does this at some point, but just figured out what I already had and then what I still needed to buy, who I needed to Venmo for stuff we were splitting and like what, make a plan for like ordering stuff online or, you know, curbside pickup or in-store pickup, all that stuff. I just kind of had to sort out there. So I used a White Deer stationery sticker from last year, I think, that matched the kit really well. I don't know if she still has those. I don't think I saw them this year, um, but they were super cute. There's some, like, uh, craft paper wrapped presents with, like, red bows and greenery in this clip art, so I thought that was a good match. Um, okay, moving down, I took a little kind of present bow tag box from Miss and Meow to mark that. I, I think I started filming this plan with me maybe I don't know and I also filmed a plan ahead um so marked that and then I marked that I was up really late this night I the, the plan ahead that I filmed I feel like I'm gonna keep talking about it but <laughs> I was just going so slow filming it which sometimes happens to me with the plan aheads because I have to stop so often I can't just like I have to I feel like I have to organize myself. Well, I don't know. Anyways, I was up really late. <laughs> um, so there's that. Okay. Moving on to Tuesday, I marked hello winter kind of messing around with the florals a lot because I found that the florals in this kit, and this isn't always true of Tula B's kit, but in this kit in particular, they had a really thick white border around them, which makes it really difficult for me, um, to use them. I like when 
the florals are really piecey and they're super, super kiss cut and there isn't a lot of white border. Um, just because of the way I layer things, I like to layer things like around and under and I don't want a big white border like layering over the other stickers that I'm layering it on top of, etc. So I was kind of messing around with that there. Um, but um, the the rest, I think it turned out really cute regardless. I used a Snowflake from Honey Inked and then the Hello Winter script. Actually, every single foiled script that's in this spread is from Paper Trail Plans. So Hello Winter included. Um, uh, here I'm marking the electrician. I talked about this a little bit in my plan ahead, but I overslept so badly for this electrician. I figured out um, afterwards, normally, like I, I have a body clock. I wake up at the same time every day and it's normally a non-issue. Like I just wake up at the same time every day, early in the morning. Um, but um, I, yeah, I turned, so I do have a, a secondary alarm for like an hour after that, that is an hour before I start working, like just in case I oversleep for some reason. But I realized that I had turned it off over Thanksgiving when I had Thursday and Friday off. So it didn't, cause it's only on weekdays. And, um, <laughs> I had turned it off and I didn't notice that I like, it wasn't going every day just because yeah, I wake up at the same time. So my body clock was just like, it was a non-issue. And it wasn't until this day where I stayed up way too late, late on Monday night and overslept that I was like, oh, forgot to turn that alarm back on like from a month ago. So anyways, back on now. Actually, it's probably off now because I just had the last week off. I'm going to check right now. <laughs> Um, okay, so right underneath that, I marked that I had four meetings using one of the kind of fancy boxes from um, the kit. I'm so sorry. I'm like literally trying to check my alarm right now and talk at the same time. <laughs> um, I did my little check where I used one of the like screens from Wait Dear Stationery, which I really like to do, um, and then put like one of the little florals from the kit. She has little florals on the like additional functional sheet page, which I really, really like that she has because they don't have to cut them up so much. They're already really tiny and scaled down, so they're really great for like little tiny icons like this. It's a great feature to her kids. Okay, alarm's back on. <laughs> tomorrow's Monday morning so I'm really glad just in case <laughs> um anyways so I did that and then the bow that I marked there was from or sorry the bow that I put on there was from Sadie Stickers I marked that the office reopening got pushed which I am grateful for since um you know Omicron is spreading and I don't want to go back into the office anyways and then we went to the grocery store all my icons, as always, the foiled ones are from Crafts by Towie and the doodle ones are from White Deer Stationery, both linked below with discounts um, and a freebie for Crafts by Towie. Um, okay, moving on to Wednesday, I marked that I had the day off. Um, so I used, again, Paper Trail Plans script and then a Paper Trail Plans transparent swatch and then just layered some florals and stuff over top of that. Um, I also marked right here that I went out to brunch with my girlfriends. Um, the, although, <laughs> what, so, I can't remember who. I told someone I was going to brunch at 1030 and they're like, that's breakfast. That's not brunch. And I was like, kind of agree. I think brunch starts at 11. You can say you're going to brunch 11 and between like 11 and one. What do you think? When is brunch? Um, okay. Sorry. Anyways, I think that turned out really cute. A lot of deco from the kit and then the Sadie stickers, everything else all the foil on that. Everything else is from Sadie Stickers, Little Gingerbread Man. I also used her like holiday holly leaves. I mentioned this in previous uh, Christmas spreads, but I really like that she offered those like leaves in a bunch of different sizes because I was able to use different leaves um, in different sizes that are all cohesive all throughout the spread. And I feel like it really tied things together in a nice way. Um, I marked that we had a TV mount fail. Oh my gosh, my husband ordered such a big TV. It's so big <laughs> to our new house. It's 85 inches, which feels so massive. And we're mounting it on a stone fireplace that goes stone all the way up to our ceilings. And these people, these poor people, they, he like told them exactly what the situation was. And they drove two hours out to us to come help us mount it. They're like specialized TV mounting people. And they got there and they're like, yeah, we can't do this. So that was a whole thing. <laughs> um, anyways, after that, I marked I had a nap in the afternoon. Again, I just hadn't been sleeping well this whole week. Up late, 
oversleeping. I just was off my sleeping schedule and I'm not normally a napper. Normally I used to be, but as I've gotten older, I've discovered it kind of makes things worse for me, but couldn't help it this afternoon. And I had, um, the day off anyway. So, you know, might as well. Um, I used the white deer stationary stickers and put some little giving stickers, slipper stickers, and put some little bows on, on top of that. I also marked that a real estate agent came over this day. Um, and he brought us like a little gift. I wanted to see the house and all that. So I marked that with some florals at the bottom and, um, a, sorry, my tea's in the way, so I can't see it anymore. Oh yeah. Um, I, I should mention too, I used a bunch of different uh, dividers. The ones along the bottom are from the Pretty Pink Co. The ones that I used on top of a lot of the different half and quarter boxes are from Sadie Stickers. Um, and then the ones that I used on top of all the um, on top of all the full boxes are also from Sadie Stickers. Um, I didn't use the headers that came with the kit because I didn't prefer the one like Maria. One of the great things about Maria's kits is that she switches stuff up all the time, but it's also like sometimes she puts stuff in and you like it and then she takes it away and you're like, wait, what happened? Um, so I, the, that was kind of the case here. She put in, um, she had some headers that I used to really like. I like when shops have, uh, or when kits come with floral headers and then line headers. And then she used to also have like a patterned one with a bow in the middle. I loved that. But these, she had some confetti headers, which I'm, I've, discovered recently I don't really love confetti foiling I don't think um yeah I don't know I've just kind of discovered that recently so I didn't use those and instead I used the Sadie stickers dividers which actually worked out pretty well because I needed a lot of space in this spread and then the ones underneath are from paper trail plans Okay, I'm getting behind. I marked that I had a half day at work this day. Um, so I did something actually very similar to what I did in the plan ahead. And I was laughing at myself because I did a very similar little floral setup with the ornaments and stuff there. And I wrote half day and I hated how it looked in that spread. And then I wrote it again the exact same way. I hated how it looked again in this spread. Whoops. Um, I marked that I went over after work ended kind of in the like af early afternoon to pick up some laundry from my parents house because our washing machine was broken so Stephen had dropped it off the night before and then I went to pick it up after I finished working and then my sisters were there they had come in the night before so I ended up just kind of hanging out with them for a while um, and then I had to come back home because the cleaners were coming and it was like sheets and towels and all that that I picked up so brought that back in the afternoon and then I marked this out of order but after that I think even before they finished Stephen and I left um I had to finish gift shopping picking up all my like curbside in-store orders I did some you know what was great was Sephora has same day delivery so that was super helpful but I did have to do a lot of like curbside and in-store pickup but I did everything online beforehand I just had to go get it um so I marked the gift shopping with the gingham flag from the kit and then the gifts like deco is from the kit and then the gift shopping is from paper trail plans I love that gingham flag I love the gingham print I wish I would have used that more in the spread I think it is so cute with the light green um and then after that we Stephen and I went to dinner at my parents house again my sisters were there so um that was nice to kind of be with family I used a little milk and cookie sticker from a Crafts by Towie like sampler and I think it was the cutest thing um but yeah so we did that Stephen ended up going home uh, well that was always the plan and I stayed there because the next morning was Christmas Eve and if you've ever watched any of my Christmas videos my family does this like crazy Christmas Eve tradition where we are up at you know super early in the morning and um, we do Feast of the Seven Fishes, so we drive all the way to another city, and we are the first people in line at the grocery store where we get our, um, like, fish and all of our seafood and, like, the produce that we need. Normally, we have mostly everything already, but just a couple things, so... I'm marking that I had the day off um, up top there and then I'm marking that we were doing, we call it crabs because a big portion of the day is we get, like this year we got 16 live crabs and we have to like, you know, kill and clean the crabs, <laughs> but it's a whole thing. Um, so we go, we got picked up at 7 a.m. and we go to, go stand in line for it. Um, like an hour and a half really so we're the first people in the store and <laughs> we we got in and out of the store in nine minutes but you know after standing in line for an hour and a half but <laughs> it's better than whatever lines you end up in the grocery store we did that on new year's that'll be the next plan with me let me tell you um anyways 
Um, so, and that's a whole big event that we do. We go, we get them, and then we come back. My uncle and other cousin have all this stuff set up at my aunt's house. We make bagels and cappuccinos, and we clean everything all together and start on the pasta sauce. My uncle comes over, um, brings us lunch and whatever. So then after all that's done, which tends to be like early afternoon, um, we go home and chill for a little bit. I went back to my house and I wrapped all of the gifts. I love, I'm not very good at wrapping gifts, but I do really enjoy picking out like wrapping paper and bows and ribbons and like jingle bells and all the little stuff that goes on gifts and wrapping them really nicely. That's one of my favorite parts. I love giving people gifts that like are super pretty and like fun. I love that. So I spent some time doing that. Um, and then um, down here, I'm, mark I'm just marking that it was Christmas Eve. Normally I do that at the top, but I knew I wanted to mark Christmas at the top and I didn't know if I wanted those two next to each other. So I put it down low. I don't know how I feel about that, but and I don't know why I feel like I have to mark it at the top. I, it might be because in my functional planner, anything that's like holiday or like that goes in the, the today section, which is the very top. But I don't know. Is that just a me thing? Or do you mark holidays at the top of your planner too? Who knows? I don't know. I've never thought about it. I think that little nutcracker is so cute too. Um, okay. And then here I am just marking that... Um, it was, you know, our actual Christmas Eve dinner. We were so glad to be able to do it <laughs> just because, you know, it's, we do the same thing every year. I have pictures of like my cousins and we do it with my, my family, both two of my, my mom's brother and sister's families, and then our family friends. And I have pictures of us from like when we were tiny, tiny little kids, you know, all of us together in our little pretty Christmas dresses and stuff. So not last year with COVID, it was like just my immediate family and my aunt and uncle. And that was it. Not even like my cousins, their kids were there, you know? So we were just like really, really glad to be able to be back together and everybody, you know, happy and healthy. And it was really nice. Really, really nice. So much fun. It was such a fun night. My aunt does such a good job putting it on really. Like it is one of, if not my favorite night of the year. Okay. Moving on to Christmas. I did something fun here. So, um, I feel like these little arch stickers are starting to pop up in sticker kits and I feel like they're more of a journaling thing. I don't know. I feel like I haven't, I, I feel like I'm seeing them in kits, but I'm not really seeing people use them so much. I don't know. Um, these were really massive too. So, um, I wanted to take the opportunity, like I saw that and then the white one that I layered over top it with the snowflakes was from um, a sampler, like a freebie that I got from Crafts by Towie. And I was like, oh great, I can layer that over top it. That'll look really cute. And then the Christmas tree from the kit, again, was really massive from the like add-on deco sheet, but I wanted to mark Christmas as really big. Like that's a big event, it's fun. Um, so I kind of layered these all together. I felt like the flow of them looked really good and I, I really liked it. I, of course I'm foiling the tree. All inspo comes from Rachel there. She did that last year with like some banners. I thought it was so cute. Um, yeah, and I'm adding some florals and stuff and some more Christmas deco. I went a little overboard with the Christmas deco. I think this is a really cute idea what I did, but the stickers were already kind of pre decorated and I feel like I probably would have liked it better if they were less decorated and I was adding all of the like extra foil and florals and all of that I think it would look less busy because <laughs> I think the way it is right now it's like I did a little bit too much but still cute and it's still kind of like a fun cute little Christmas thing and I like that it's big and it takes up a lot of space because it's Christmas you know um okay anyway so I marked um, that, so we slept over at my parents' house the night before we did presents with my family in the morning. And then my parents always, um, throw like a big brunch, um, at our house, um, or their house Christmas morning. So, well, again, brunch, it's more like a I think people come over at 12. We call it brunch. <laughs> um, we stay in pajamas, but we, you know, it's a lot of work. My mom puts into it the day before and we all kind of helped that day too. So that was fun. Um, used a crafts by Towie sticker to mark that little Christmas tree to mark opening presents and all that let me know in the comments what you got for Christmas I got some really great stuff I'm excited about I'd love to hear what you're what you're excited about um, if you celebrate of course um, and then I'm marking here that we went over 
to dinner at my in-laws house. They do such a nice dinner. It was just the four of us this year because my brother-in-law and sister-in-law had their baby. Um, well, not at this point they had it yet, but um, they had to stay home because they were just a couple days from their due date. But we still had a great time. They make such, you know, a nice, beautiful dinner. They put so much work into it. It's so lovely. Drink some great wine. My mother-in-law always does Christmas crackers, which are so fun and bakes a lot and all that. So it was really lovely. They're great about presents too. They go like full in on stockings. I feel like a little kid, <laughs> again, opening stockings at their house. It's so fun. Um, and then I marked too that we played Tripoli that night. They got us one of our presents was the Tripoli game, which I had never played before, but it's a combination of um, hearts, poker, and Michigan Remy, which I know how to play gin Remy, so I had to learn Michigan Remy. We were trying to figure it out. It was pretty fun. Probably had too much wine to really sort it out, but if you've ever played before, let me know because um, it's a fun one, but I feel like I need to figure it out still. Um, okay, moving on to Sunday. I marked that in the morning I edited and I had a really slow morning and I was so grateful for that. It had been, um, like I said, I didn't sleep well at all this week and it had been a long time since I'd slept in my bed. I had slept at my parents' house and, you know, my like double bed for the past couple of nights and like with my husband, that's really rough. So I, you know, we slept well on Christmas and I was just really grateful to get some alone time, um, on Sunday morning finally. So, um, and just kind of edit and be on the couch and I marked it with a coffee cup cause I'm sure I had lots of coffee and you know, all that. Um, and then here I'm taking another one of the Miss and Meow um, little tag boxes. I, I feel like I ended up using that in place of the she Maria used to include the third boxes that were like midi size boxes on her functional um, like add on page. Maria, please put them back. <laughs> I need them so badly. I miss them so much. I love having the third box size. It's the perfect box size. Not too big, not too small. Just right, you know. Um, but anyways, I used for the spread. I feel like the um, the Miss and Meow ones were a good a good addition for that. Um, I marked here that we did our um, Boxing Day wine tasting is another tradition that we have. My family and my cousin's families, generally we go up to Napa. This year we stayed a little bit closer, um, and but we do like a family wine tasting the day after Christmas. It's a really fun tradition that we've had forever. Um, as long, pretty much as long as I could drink, I think, <laughs> legally. Um, so I marked that. I used a... Um, wine glass from Crafts by Towie and I layered it with a lot of florals. I put them underneath too just because I felt like it was foil on foil so um, I wanted to help break that up with some of the florals. After that my cousin and her husband and my sister and my husband and I went um, to go get some beer flights at a brewery nearby that um, my husband and I like. We weren't quite done <laughs> just yet. Our parents went home and we went out, so that was fun. Um, I used, again, the beer flight from Crafts by Towie. She had asked me if I needed any more stickers and I told her the beer flights, but I didn't send her a picture of that one. I sent her a picture of my wine glass and that's what the wine glass is based off of, but I didn't send her a picture of that beer flight, but that is literally the ex exactly what my beer flights look like that I have at home. <laughs> so I thought that was really fun because, you know, there's a ton of different kinds, but that's exactly what we use. So I thought that was adorable. Um, and then I cut up those little string lights too, um, from Sadie stickers. That was like a full thing, but I cut them up to make a little banner, which I thought was really cute. Um, cause I think it's festive. I wish I would have done a better job of incorporating the string lights into the spread, but oh well, what are you going to do? It's a very full, full spread anyways. <laughs> um, okay. And then down here I am marking that we had leftovers at my aunt's house. We all went back over to my aunt's house and just all had dinner together. I used a Crafts by Towie third box, um, scalp third box with some florals. Again, I needed more third boxes, <laughs> third box size stuff. So, um, I ended up pulling in that random third box. Normally I like to like if I'm pulling in one box, I like to pull in multiple so it looks cohesive, but I think it looks fine because it's just foil. It was fine. Um, anyways, I'm showing you all of the leftovers here, um, and then I'm putting them into my leftover sticker book. If you're new to my channel, um, I put all of my leftovers into a leftover sticker book and then give it away once it's all full. Um, I still have to do a giveaway for the one that I filled up over the summer. Whoops. It's been... Uh, 
nuts. <laughs> I gotta figure that out. Anyways, um, yeah, I put them all into the leftover sticker book. I tend to have a ton of leftovers because I like to buy really deluxe kits, so I have a lot of options. Anyway, I'm about to cut over to show you um, what the spread looks. Oh gosh, no, there's more. Gosh, so many florals. <laughs> I'm not surprised. No one's surprised. Anyways, I'm about to cut over to show you what the spread looks like all finished. Um, oh, here we go. There it is. It's beautiful. I think it turned out really foily and really Christmassy. Like I said, it took me a little bit um, of a groove to kind of get into using it, but I do think it turned out really nice and really Christmassy. And there's a lot of elements to it that I really, really like, like the date cover piece and um, yeah, just had a lot of fun with it. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really enjoyed doing it. I also hope that you didn't notice that this voiceover was maybe a little bit of a mess because I already recorded it once and my mic wasn't plugged in and that always throws me off. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's pretty much it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, coupon codes are linked below. I also link all the shops and I post them on my Instagram too. Um, and that's all. Thanks everybody. Bye.